All right, guys, let's have a look at the new Lychee app that I've uh, got here. Uh, the last video I did, this is the same flight as before, and um, it just wasn't, the gimbal wasn't being controlled properly because I had the settings wrong. And what I've discovered is uh, a few tweaks here and there, and what do you know? The video is much, much better. And uh, when we're coming up to the um, first point of interest is the um, beehives. Now the beehives are going to be nice and centered. The gimbal will come down, point right at it and hold it until the uh, drone turns. It backs off, which is just perfect. So let's have a look here. We're coming up to the beehives now just behind the row of trees there in about mid uh, mid video and we'll have a look now there was a bunch of bees you know doing their thing there so I didn't want to bother them so I I'm only up uh, 15 meters well 15 meters is pretty high not quite as high as treetop level but we're up pretty good and you can see that the gimbal is pointed at the uh, beehives right now and as we get a little closer we'll see here and then it'll do its turn and go and head towards uh, point of interest number two so here this is looking real good and you'll see that the gimbal the camera and everything is just locked on. It's good. It's not. It's it's stable. It's not off to the side like it was before. And I didn't change that part. The only part I changed, um, well, I did point it at the at the uh, point of interest again. It was pointed at the point of interest before. So maybe because I've redone it, I guess was uh, is a lot better. Now it's backing off just like it's supposed to. And now it's turning towards uh, point of interest number two, which is the uh, culvert uh, that goes under the road here. You'll see in just a minute. And as we come up to it, it's going to uh, gimbal down and point at point of interest number two. Point of interest number three is the railway track behind us here. And I skipped that one. So it goes from two to um, point of interest number four, which is the RV uh, uh, parkade there, where the uh, RVs are parked. And it's like through the trees. I didn't go above the trees or anything. So the video will be going through the trees. And then from point of interest number four, it's going to turn, go straight down the road towards the railway and uh, the bridge. And that's uh, point of interest number three. And then it flies over the railroad, makes a loop, comes back, and goes for the landing. And here we are at the culverts now. And it's going to slowly lift up and turn and uh, point towards uh, point of interest number four, actually. It was kind of out of sequence, but uh, I added this after the fact. It didn't have one on number four before. So maybe that's why it didn't uh, focus in on anything. So... Sit back, relax, let's have a look and see how this uh, Lychee app uh, number two version here is going to work. Okay, guys.
Okay, uh, the camera and gimbal is pointed at point of interest number three, which is, oh, a few hundred meters down the railroad, in the center of rail, railroad. And uh, the drone's going to look at this as we go sideways over the uh, uh, bridge or the railway there. And then make a loop and come back, uh, pointing at uh, point of interest number three there, the same. So it should look kind of straight down the railroad. Because the point of interest is uh, right in the center of the railway track there. I think I set that for 10, 10 meters high. And now it's going to do its loop, still looking at point of interest number three, all the way. Now it's going backwards on its loop and come around and uh, go over the bridge once again, still looking at point of interest number three there and waypoint to waypoint uh, flight so this was the lychee app with uh, waypoint to wa sorry waypoint to waypoint uh, mission and I've refined the settings a little bit from my first attempt my first attempt wasn't too good uh, in my my for my liking anyway so now we got a perfect waypoint to waypoint uh, mission. And now it's going to turn and head home, which is just a few meters away. And it's staying at 15 meters high. It doesn't go up like in the Go4 app when you go home. It would go up to whatever setting that you had set up. I had it set to 40 meters. It would go up 40 meters, head for the home point and then land. So now it's uh, facing uh, the wrong way at the moment because it's just pulling up to the uh, return to home position and then it'll turn, orient itself in the same direction that it took off from and then come down and land. So thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next Leachy uh, mission. I don't know what it'll be, a follow me or, or some other mission that uh, Leachy has. They have a lot there to work with. So thanks for watching the Waypoint to Waypoint Leachy mission, guys. And we'll catch you guys all on the next one.